All right, guys, it's nighttime, as you can tell. I'm out here with Jeremy Smith tonight, and we're going after some ghost shrimp. We came up with a new device we'll show you in a little bit, a faster way that you can sift your ghost shrimp or find your ghost shrimp. shrimp. We'll show you that in a minute. It's a sifter, so stay tuned. We're about to get into the action. All right guys, so the new development with this whole ghost shrimp pumping thing is this sift right here. This thing is awesome, especially when you're pumping alone here. Check it out, here's another shrimp. So it just allows you to sift through everything really quickly without having to look in the murky water. This will just put it right in there Pick up your shrimp, put it in your little bucket, and you're good to go. Hey, look at there. Hey, got one. It's a little easier than uh, looking for it in the water, though. Yeah, it is. And it's nice because you don't actually have to push it down. Yeah. Just pop the sand in there and let the water do the rest. As you guys can probably tell, we're trying to develop better ways to um, sift through and find the ghost shrimp without having to pump it in the water. This is our newest development with the uh, sifter, but I think we might be able to even develop a better way if we can get one where there's a little bigger holes in the sifter. Big enough to keep the shrimp in, but the sand to quickly sift out. So because we're doing this at night, we're using a gigging light. You can probably see the light under the water. It's a dive light with a homemade PVC rig to hold it. So it works okay, but there's a wind blowing tonight. And usually when you're in the surf, we're not in the surf tonight, but if you're in the surf and you have a north wind, the surf will lay flat and that's when you usually go gigging. Tonight's not a perfect ideal situation for doing this. Night's probably not the best idea, but hey, we're trying out everything. Experimentation. All right, we're up to six now, half a dozen. We're gonna be happy if we get a dozen tonight. It's definitely a lot more difficult at night than it is during the day, especially with the wind. So we'll keep you guys posted, but we got a half a dozen so far. All right, guys, we tried this new spot. We caught eight ghost shrimp. It was really slow. We're gonna try a new spot, see if that picks up for us any. But we definitely have learned some lessons about the strainer and the size of the strainer that you should use. I recommend if you're gonna go a place where there's a lot of mud, get a strainer with bigger holes in it. Seems like uh, in this area especially, it's not as sandy, it's more muddy. So just a thought there. Here's the strainer we're using. And here are our ghost shrimp. All right, guys, so it's a little slow in the second location. Um, we only got, what, one keeper? Yeah, one that didn't chop. <laughs> one keeper and a couple chop-ups, which happens when you're pumping for these ghost shrimp. But one thing we wanted to show you, it's working great, is the sifter. So Jeremy had the sifter. I think it's a, uh, what do you call it? It's like a gold sifting? Uh, gold classifier. Gold classifier. So if you Google gold classifier, you'll find these, these uh, things we're using. And then he just drilled some holes in the side of it and zip tied a pool noodle. And that's all you need. Tie it onto yourself like, like that. Pump. 
into it and the sand gets filtered out and your ghost shrimp stays. So it's a pretty cool little system. I think we'll keep experimenting and make better and bigger and better versions of it as we go along. Oh, look at there. Ah, number two. And he's trying to get out. <laughs> See if we can find some more. He was way down there. Maybe I'm just not going down for him. <laughs> so another thing we're noticing when we're out here pumping at night is the consistency of what we're pumping. So in this muddy stuff, it doesn't seem to pump as well and also doesn't seem to produce as many ghost shrimp. The ones we have found were a little deeper in the mud. So I would recommend trying to go to areas where there's a little more sand and try there first. If that doesn't work, make, go try the mud, but we're not producing here as well as we did at the other spot. So guys, we're one short of a dozen. Our goal is a dozen before we pack up. So we're gonna pump as many holes as we need to. Probably not really. Probably hopefully get a, one here in the next little bit so we can nail a dozen and uh, have something to fish with in the morning. Hmm, little escaper. <laughs> Worked that hard for four. <laughs> we did it guys, we got a dozen. Now we can finally get out of here, go to bed, wake up in the morning, hit the surf, and hopefully get on some good fish. Today was slow, we were over uh, at the jetties today, but tomorrow we're looking to get into the surf and uh, get on the whiting, maybe some pompano, black drum. Thanks for watching. We'll get, keep you guys posted as we develop more about these uh, ghost shrimp techniques, tools, tactics. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe and that like button. Till next time, see you guys.